welcome to my kitchen. So we have a new bread mix out. It's called Rosemary Focaccia Bread, okay? We're gonna give it a try today and using our amazing deluxe stand mixer, guys. This takes all of the guesswork out of everything that I have to do. It tells me when to, um, the right amount of time to mix it and so on and so forth. It just makes baking so much simpler, okay? And besides that, preset mixes, oh my gosh, guys. First time opening that, that smells so good. Okay, gonna get me sidetracked here. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to add in water. So you want one and a half cups of warm water. This is where these um, easy read measuring cups come in really handy. So we're gonna add in one and a half cups of warm water. And my bowl's a little cold, so I made my water just a little warmer just because of that. And then it says we want two teaspoons of oil and the bread mix, okay? So some olive oil. We're gonna open that up. Two teaspoons, I'm, I'm just gonna eye it. And it'll be close enough, right? And then we're gonna add in the bread mix. And where it calls for olive oil, we're gonna add in our bread mix. And then we're gonna be using the dough hook. So it comes with three different hooks. Um, one of them being a dough hook, the other one being a flat beater and also a whisk. And then we're gonna push this down. Now what's it tell me to do? So, um, knead the dough. So let's go into just the preset settings of knead right here, okay? So I can come right down here to knead, and then all I do is push the button. The great thing about that is, is it speeds up and slows down exactly at the right amount of time. Push start, and it's gonna do all the guesswork because if you go too fast, if you don't go long enough, your um, breads just don't come out the way that they should, okay? So while that's doing that, it says um, knead the dough while the dough hook for six minutes. So it automatically has a set timer on it as well. What did it set the timer for? It set the timer for seven minutes and 40 seconds, okay? Now we can adjust that timer. I didn't do that, but I could easily go in there and adjust the timing. So we probably need to do that though. Let's go ahead and adjust that time. Let's stop it. To six minutes, okay? And then push start. Okay, just had to play with it. I hadn't used it enough on the timing section because usually I just do the preset settings and let them go. So anyway, we got that adjusted for six minutes and it's gonna stop and then we'll go on. All right, it's just about done and our time is gonna be up in just about six seconds, okay? It's gonna automatically stop for us. That way we don't over mix it. Woo there we go. All right, so what we've got now is this amazing smelling rosemary Focaccia bread making up here. We're gonna pull it out. You can see how evenly it mixed that all up in there, which is really nice. I'm gonna move this and just pull this off here just a second. Set this aside. Okay, now we're gonna take our mix here and we're going to put it into our mixing bowl so that it can sit there and rise okay now we coated this with oil a while ago so we know that it's not going to stick to the sides or anything like that we're going to make sure we get all of that yumminess out of there now this should rise and double in size within about an hour okay and then we will transfer it to a baking stone one of our new ones where we will use it to finish um, the additional rise as well as the baking okay all right so got all that in there and we're just gonna cover this and let it start to rise, okay? So while I have um, my oil out, it also calls for um, another quarter cup of olive oil. And we're gonna put this into our new deep round baker. This is gonna be perfect for our focaccia bread, okay? So we're gonna just take in a quarter cup of olive oil, put that in and make sure you get all that good olive oil out of there. And then just take your basting brush and make sure you rub all the way around all the edges because we definitely want this pan to be coated really nicely, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and I just wanted to do that while I still had my basting brush out and then that way I'm not getting out and doubling up my um, dirty dishes more than once, right? Okay, we're gonna let that sit there. There's gonna be a lot of extra oil in the bottom. That's okay, it's gonna rise up and make this focaccia bread really tasty. Okay, the last step in our rosemary focaccia bread is about ready to happen, okay? Take some olive oil, 
we're just gonna drizzle about a couple of tablespoons just on the top of it, okay? Just giving it nice little coating. And then you're gonna let your fingers do the action, okay? So you're gonna make these dimples inside the bread. This is what you're gonna do. You're just gonna go like this. And this is gonna like put all these little dimples right inside the bread so that when you go and bake it, it's gonna have all those um, little craters and everything else as well. So just kind of come in and make some little dimples just like that. And then we're gonna toss it into the oven and bake it at 400 degrees. And we're gonna check out the results in just a bit. Okay, here it is out of the oven. Look at that focaccia bread, that rosemary focaccia bread. I cannot wait for it to cool off and dive into it. It's gonna be so delicious.